Members of some Hutterite communities on the prairie say they're being discriminated against because of COVID-19. Case numbers have spiked in Manitoba and Saskatchewan over the past week, and many of the new cases have been linked to the close-knit colonies. The CBC's Bonnie Allen is more on this from Regina. Bonnie, what's the latest on infections in those communities? Well, another big jump in case numbers here in Saskatchewan today with more than 30 cases. Of those, two-thirds of the, the new cases are in Hutterite colonies. At this point, Carol, Saskatchewan has the highest number of active cases that we have ever had. Never before have we had this many cases of COVID-19 active in our province. And uh, just to throw some numbers at you, in the past week, Saskatchewan has seen 239 new infections. Of those, 70%, about 150, are in Hutterite colonies. So there has been a, an issue with the, the infection, or excuse me, the virus spreading from colony to colony. It, it's believed that this traces back to a large funeral in Alberta in mid-June. As we know, uh, Hutterites live in small village-like settings. They eat together, um, worship together, work together. And while many Hutterite communities have taken strict measures, such as shutting down their communal kitchens, it seems that the, the virus had a bit of a jump on them. This has also contributed to stigma in the community because Hutterites are very easily distinguishable in the community. They dress in distinct traditional clothing. So they say, community leaders say, that they have encountered discrimination, uh, that they've been denied service from businesses, that people have stopped buying their, their food from them, their vegetables. Uh, we interviewed Mary Ann Kirkby, who is a Hutterite author, author who grew up in a colony in Manitoba and she spoke about that with us today. Well, they're being told to get out of stores. Um, this is a huge time for Hutterites because the farmers markets are open and their produce has always flown off the shelves at the farmers markets. Now people are staying away from them and not buying any of their products and it's really heartbreaking for them. And so the Hatterian Safety Council's COVID-19 task force has called on provincial leaders and public health officials in both Manitoba and Saskatchewan to stop releasing information specific to Hutterite colonies as a way to stop that stigma. And how have the provinces responded to that request? differently. So last week, the Manitoba government decided that it would stop releasing information that was specific to Hutterite colonies. And instead now, uh, the public health officer, Dr. Brent Rusin, says that they will just release information about clusters and they will do so by health region. So you will no longer have any sense of how many new cases are among colonies. And today he spoke about how uh, the stigma can actually uh, be dangerous in the fight against the coronavirus. We can't say it enough uh, to uh, continue to have Manitobans be kind to each other. Uh, there's no place for stigma or discrimination against people who may have acquired uh, this or been in contact with it. Um, uh, aside from being inappropriate, uh, this is, um, you know, does not help our efforts against COVID. It uh, actually in, uh, interferes with public health efforts. Uh, so be kind um, uh, to Manitobans. Don't make judgments. Listen to public health advice, to credible advice, and, uh, and we'll continue to get through this together. And today here in Saskatchewan, the government once again released how many colonies have new cases. So in uh, contrast to Manitoba, but we've just obtained a pretty strictly worded letter from the Hatterian Safety Council saying that the government here in Saskatchewan is perpetuating discrimination by doing so. So I think that this uh, fight to get Saskatchewan to stop releasing that information will continue, Carol.